Hello YouTube, this is Vindication84. Um, I'd just like to show you a, f a few really cool programs that you can download for um, Windows XP, maybe Vista, I don't know, I don't have it, so. So, um, first thing, I'm gonna, these are all freeware programs, by the way. The first thing I'm going to show you is called um, uh, Cam Studio. This is what I'm using to record my screen right now. Um, it's basically the exact same thing as things like um, Hypercam, but Hypercam you have to pay for. And uh, even if you have the free version of Hypercam, you still have that little watermark up there, which is annoying. So if you um, if you want a free one that doesn't give you any watermarks, Cam Studio is the best bet. Um, it is cool. It has a couple little cool features. You can have um, and hide it like that. You have uh, animations, uh, animations, whatever. Um, you can make uh, like little notes in your video. So I can edit the text here. I can say hi. YouTube, save it, and then I can move this all around during my video. Nifty. And then also, which is really cool, I can have um, a video animation. So, I don't have my webcam on right now, but I'll have right up in this corner or wherever you want, you can have a little picture in picture of yourself talking, so I could actually be in this video. I didn't want to, though. So, that is free cam studio. I'll uh, post a link to it on the right. But right now, I'll just uh, show you. Just go to Google Cam Studio. I actually did this video before, but I messed up, so whatever. <laughs> um, so I have all the links right there. Anyway, you click on the first one and you just download. It's easy. Follow the instructions. Blah blah blah. All right. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is called um, Volume Touch. Now, normally, if you want to change the volume, you have to go down to this little bar click the little silver volume thing, which I don't have for some reason. It was replaced with this thing from my uh, sound card. And you have to go in there, and then you have to do that if you want to change the volume. And it's pretty annoying sometimes. So so, so um, sometimes if that gets a little annoying to you, um, just go to um, Firefox if you've downloaded it or if you already have it or whatever. Um, type in, obviously you don't have to use Firefox. You can use it for, I like Firefox better. Um, you can go to Google site in search volume touch and it's the second one go in and you download it now basically what this is it lets you use a keystroke and your mouse to be able to change the volume in your computer from if you're open when any window is open and it's really nifty so because you don't have to go click on anything you just do shift control and then use your um, use your little mouse wheel to change it. Now if you notice down here there's a little bar and when I change the volume, the red, it goes up and then when it goes down, the volume goes down. Alright, third thing I'm going to show you is called Digsby. It's uh, right there. I also have it right here. It's, um, if you've ever used AIM, it's like an AIM client. Um, it has uh, AIM, MSN, Yahoo, if you still use those ones, um, ICQ, a bunch of them. And it has all the features of AIM. Um, you can do video conferencing, uh, voice conferencing, send files. It's pretty nifty. Plus, it has um, it has Gmail, all these different mail clients, and it has your list of emails right there. Also, it has MySpace alerts and everything. It's really nifty. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So, and, and it can dock to the side there for convenience. It's nice. So, to go to that. It's free, obviously. Go to that, go to Google, type in Digsby, I think it's digsby.com, but I don't really care, just type in Digsby, and there you go. Um, another really nifty one that you might be interested in is called, um, is called Adobe Air. Now, Adobe Air itself doesn't really do anything spe um, spectacular, but it's an engine, I guess, for running different small programs. So, for example, this traffic jam thing, it's not a real program that can be run just using the Windows ex exec executable um, runtime, but it uses it with uh, Adobe Air. So on that. Uh, there's also ones like this is this is one of my personal favorites, YouTube Widget. So you can actually have this on your desktop, not even go to the um, 
the uh, your browser and you can go search for videos um, and then you can look at videos right on your <laughs> to get to that and there's dozens and dozens and dozens of programs for Adobe Air um, just go to Adobe Air um, there it is you can go down to here you can um, download it somewhere get Adobe Air right there and they also have um, showcase applications you can get right there and it, it'll give you a humongous list made by people and Adobe and they have an eBay one it's really nifty um, okay, here's another one I want to show. Um, it's called uh, XPIs. Um, what it basically does is gives you themes and changes your um, Windows interface to make it look cool. <laughs> um, for example, it gives you this Lunar Royale um, one, which is similar to the uh, if you have. Windows XP Media Center Edition. You don't really need this if you have it, but it gives you a nice little black theme. You can have black or blue, and these are all the same thing, so I don't know why it says they're different. But um, they have black or blue. It's pretty nice. It's nice. Um, now from there, you can go to other ones. Uh, well, it, it changes um, your, your splash screen in Windows. Um, to get to it, you just go to XPIs and Google, go to the first one and download it and do that. Um, it does not mess with it. It, it. For me, it didn't mess with any of my files. It was easy to uninstall. But here's a disclaimer: I am not, <laughs> I am not responsible if anything happens to your computer. Um, okay, so here is another one. It's called uh, Audacity. You might have heard of it. It's a uh, basically sound recorder on steroids. <laughs> It's free. Um, you can record, obviously, voice. Here's me recording right now. It's gonna be pretty loud when I play it back. But anyway, um, there it is. Um, here I'll play it back. Okay, I don't know why it's not playing back. Oh, my volume's down. There it is. There we go. Obviously, voice. Here's me recording right now. It's gonna be pretty loud when I play it back. But anyway, um. There it is. All right. So anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> um, but you can record different tracks. You can uh, record, 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 yeah. So different tracks. You can um, put like guitar, whatever you want in there. If you're if you have a band, I've recorded a couple of songs with my friend's band, and they sound pretty nice. And you can have a bunch of effects. You can reverse, an echo. It's nice to get to that. Free to get to that, you go to internet, Google. I should just keep this open <laughs> and uh, Audacity. Just go to the first one and download it according to the instructions. Um, okay, uh, I think that's about it. And uh, I wanted to mention a couple more actually, so never mind. Um, okay, the last one it's called JZip. If you've, ever, if you've ever used WinZip or WinRAW, you know, they're not free, and they always bug you about it. And this is a free alternative. It's the exact same thing. does the exact same stuff. It's easy to use. Um, there you go. And just, uh, it's free. Just go to there, you know, the drill. JSON. Yay. And just click there, and blah, blah, blah. Download. And there's one more that I don't have installed right now, but I probably should. It's called Foxit Reader. It's an Adobe... Um, reader clone, but it's free. So, um, so if you have PDF files, you can read it right away. And there you go. It's nice. All right. Well, anyway, um, this has been my tutorial. Let's see a bunch of boxes. Uh, it's first tutorial, so don't uh, don't nag me about it or anything. Um, well, there you go. Uh, have a nice time with all your new new programs. Leave comments, subscribe, and ciao.